So we're just driving along the Marine Drive. Been out for our tea to the uh, Three Jolly Sailors. What did you think to that? It was very nice. It was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Just traditional pub fare. Wispy, so, scampy and, and a stay. Yeah. That was nice. So we're going to find, it's a little bit rainy. We've not got a brolly, have we? I have. Oh, yes. So there's a few vans here. Can you see? It's only six o'clock, but that's when the free parking starts at six o'clock. Six till nine a.m. So there's a few vans, and we're just going to find somewhere. I think just reverse up down here. Uh, was it just a bit further along? Or have I gone past it? I thought. What you mean that path? Just sort of here. Why but, can't you just pull alongside and not have it? Well, you can technically. What do you think? Yeah, just here will be good. I was going to say we can, we can go a long ways, couldn't we? What, and point out towards oh, do you want to? Well, what do you think? Do you think we should... Because we're going to go up to that path there to pull. Do you think point out to the sea? So this is where we are. It's probably... I don't know, just round bend. Now the thing that worries me, being paranoid, is a car coming around in the middle at night really fast and hitting us. What about that, Ellen? No, she's blowing her nose. What if a car comes around really fast and hits us? Yeah, but that could happen. Like falls well, out the sky and hits your van. There's a lot less chance of that. So we've changed where we are. We're facing sort of towards the main bit, towards the castle. So his window on the side of the van is looking out to sea. So when we get up in the morning, the sun's rising. It's going to be amazing. I want to get out and show you where we are. Going across the road, so castles up there, above there. And that's where we are. So it's about six o'clock, just gone six. There's a few vans further along. I don't know why none of them want to park here. Bit of slope, not too much. But they might know something we don't know. <laughs> they all seem to be clumped together. But moving van again. This is third time. You've got to realise I get a lot of anxiety and I'm just worried about leaving it down here on its own, on its own. And I've, we've just walked up cliff, right up cliff, to near the pub. And I thought we don't want to be coming down here when we've had a couple of beers. So I've seen a really good spot up on top. So Helen's sent me down to pick one and take it back up there. I bet you can't even see me, can you? It's pretty dark. So, I'm going back up. I'm not sure this better spot. Or at least I think it's a better spot anyway. I feel, I feel safer there. And there's other campers up there as well. I'll show you in a minute. So, that's disc zone. She's on phone. So we're just up on top. So we get that fantastic view. It's a lot quieter up here. It's just hotels. Remember it's January, so it's very quiet. But that's the spot. And there's Helen. So we stayed in that hotel a few months ago. It's really nice actually, good value. Can't remember the name of it. Anyway, she's on phone, so I'm just doing a bit. Kids, eh? Yeah, Helen's just lamenting that she's uh, her daughter's staying at the friends, and Helen's texted her and rung her, and she never rings back. But my son's the same; they never do. They ignore you. 
Mind you, my lad's not too bad now. So, it's all good. It's just that we, us oldies, we're a bit boring, aren't we? Well, you speak <laughs> All right, I'm a bit boring. I'm not down with the kids. Helen is down with the kids. And Helen's best friend is really down with the kids, isn't she? Yeah. She's like cool. She's cool, auntie. She's cool, auntie. Is it open, Helen? Yeah, it's got to be open. Best pub in Scarborough, this. Do you think we'll get a discount if we tell them that we've said that on the tower? Yeah. Yay! Here we go. Yeah, it's a cracking pub. Unfortunately, there's nobody in. And that's the state of the economy at the moment. He's just gone to change well, that's lad. And she's gone to lap. I've got really chapped lips at the minute. Do you know when God was giving out gins? Oh, that is so old. James thought he said gins and asked for a double. Yeah, ha ha. You know how sensitive I am to my chins. Right. Do you know when he was giving out noses? Oh, James thought he said roses and asked for a big red one. <laughs> <laughs> or a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bunch. They are so old. My dad used to tell us that. Okay then. I've got some cheese jokes. Do you want to hear them? Oh no. I'm, no. I'm clean you up. All right then. So, we're back at the van, and Helen's just in the back of the van putting the pyjamas on. And because it's such a tight space, I'm waiting outside. So she's going to get her jams on and get all comfy in bed. And then I shall follow, and we're going to watch a bit of TV, I think. It's all pretty quiet. It's not too late. I bet it's only half nine or something. We're going to watch some tea at Delhi. We're going to watch some Happy Valley, I think. So here's Helen demonstrating the difficulty of... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get, put my jimmy jammies on. Get your jimmy jammies on in such a confined space. But I but, managed. And look, I've got my beautiful fleecy dressing gown with the hood that James' mum and dad got me. Yeah. And I tell you what, it's coming in extremely handy. And she's got wine. We've got the tablet for the TV. We're going to brush his teeth. So we're all set. Yeah, look, posh toothpaste. Got your toothbrush, got my toothpaste. So we're all good. Got the she- Oh, that's the rubbish bag up there, by the Is way. It? Yeah. The she wee. I'm being deadly serious. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> I've just had a wee outside. I've used it once when I was walking with my brother. Yeah, you like it, don't you? In uh, the Peak District. I've only <sighs> used it once, but yes, it worked. <laughs> anyway. Fun. Right, the catchphrase is fun, freedom, comfort <clears throat> and convenience. So, I'm going to lock the doors. And you're going to hang the keys up on the hook, please. So then if the police did knock, we'll be in his jammers. And we'll say, we're not... You know, there's no way we'll be driving. We've not had a lot to drink anyway, but no, it's uh, it's just nice. So I'm going to put the fancy lights on. Where's the remote for fancy lights? So I'll put them on because it makes it a little bit more. And then I'll turn off if I can find. So oh, yeah, and I've got the, I like this setting. Check this out. I don't think you've seen this yet. Sort of change. Why is that one not on? Why is the only one on? Why is it? Yeah. Hang on. Turn them off, turn them on again. And then put them on. 
You like the orange set in, do you? Yeah. And these fake candles, they're not they're not actual candles. Not <coughs> <coughs> music. It's not a rave. I thought we were watching it. We, we don't need that on. Just so, while you're getting, we'll have a bit of an interlude while you're getting your okay. jammers on. Oh, don't don't oh. let it be. Turn your volume down yeah, first. Yeah, that's a bit loud, that is, isn't it? So I'm going to uh, turn the camera off while I put my jammers on. Adios. <laughs> you. You're an old man and I'm your mum's brother. Well, I'm videoing this and you're ruining it. Was he middle aged? Shall I go first and warm some water up? I'm going to go into the toilets oh, you next don't to the checkout women. You and don't, I don't care. You're going to go in like that in your dressing gown. I might take this off and put my coat on. Yeah. She just don't care. I do care, but I'm not bothered. She's not bothered what people think. Of her. When you see these women in the supermarket with their pyjamas on. They do it, yeah. It's like people go into Primane with rollers in the hair. Yeah, and jams well, on. this is what Helen's doing in Tesco. But I don't. But because I don't it's do that. really early at morning, well, it's really early for me, but because it's early at morning, there's not many shoppers in, and there's just a, a, what do they call a collection of checkout women, like a gaggle of women in groups at the side of the toilet. So I, I just, I went in, did a quick recce, in and out. A gaggle. A cackle. A cackle. That's a bit. I oh, know. I don't mean that disrespectful. I don't know. I don't mean that disrespectful. Dis disrespectful at all. There's what could it be? Nothing wrong with that. A... But they were just. You felt like oh. No, you feel like. I that. feel like that. I feel like they're all looking at me, thinking, "Oh, look at him! I bet he's gone in here for a poo." <laughs> I just think that. So I, can't, I can't go. I can't go. Does that stop you going? <clears throat> Do you, need, do you need a poo? Look, can we not discuss this? I just said that and I shouldn't have said it. Have you it. been in? Look, I'm not discussing it. We're filming. <laughs> I'm not discussing it. everybody does it. I know they do, but I'm not discussing it on my channel. Well, I think you should. I well, think people need to know. They probably this do. Is one of, like, the, this was one of your most concerning things. What, well, going to the toilet? Having a poo. Every oh, morning. Stop using that language. Oh, she hasn't said anything. What language? I could. I I like to just be hygienic. I like to be clean and fresh. So that is a big challenge for the van van life, isn't it? Yeah. Clean and fresh. So I it's like been to be clean and fresh. It has been. This trip has been very liberating because I've not had a shower for three days. I have two showers a day. One at morning, one at night. And I know that's excessive, and I don't know, but that's what I do. And I've not had a shower in three days. So I'm paranoid about absolutely stinking. You don't. I can't smell you. Well, 
I'm doing my best. Do you know what they say? You only need two showers a week. Well, yeah, and we were discussing yesterday that in olden days, they used to have a bath once a week, didn't they? Yeah. I used to remember Sunday night. Yeah. <laughs> well, you did. People used to have a bath once a week and you'd have a wash. But we've got this now. We get. In the it's 70s. probably not. Do you know what? I bet it's not even good for you. Me having two showers a day is probably no, not good. No, it's probably not. And it's not good for your um, energy bill either. Energy bill. Although we're not going to have them anymore, are we? And also the water consumption and the environment. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to get used to it. What I, my plan is when I'm going to be stealthing sort of full time. Uh, is I've, I'm a member of JD Gyms and I can't go to any gym and there's loads around our way so I'm just going to go to the gym. Wow, you're going to be both. Yeah, I do, well, I'm not going to work out. <laughs> yes, I want you to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do, I do. I used to work out a lot up until November. I worked out loads, and since Christmas and that, I've just piled weight on. Oh, don't don't we all? So I'm going to. Every morning oh, or yeah. every night, I'm going to have a shower. Walk day three hair. Yeah. Without any, what else, washing it or hair. Equipment. With van life, and when, when you're starting a channel up, a, a YouTube thing, you've got to be prepared to let people see the reality of it. What, you? the real you? And I've always been paranoid. Oh, if somebody took a photograph or took a video of me, delete that, delete it. Oh, look at stay to me. But then now, look at my chins. Look at my chins. <laughs> she was worrying about my chins last night. Have I got a lot of chins? <coughs> no, I'm joking. But yeah, so paranoid about it. But when you're doing this, you've got to just think, this is as rough as it gets, isn't it, really? Yeah. I mean, what we just had for breakfast? Well, that was just the aperitif for breakfast. Yeah, we're going to have a... We're going to go to a cafe. We've got to just nip back into town because I bought a load of china from a charity shop and we didn't want to carry it around yesterday, so I paid for it and we're going to pick it up this morning. Because that's what I do in my business. I'm a bit of an antique dealer, aren't I? I have an antiques business. Do you want me to find that otter thing? Yeah, and Helen saw something... Uh, a figurine and bought a fine arts which is a bit of a rare one but it wasn't on the plinth and then she told me about oh no you're back in i'm like i'm just back i'm not bothered now. she told me about it in pub oh i saw that and then we looked them up and it's probably around about a hundred pound isn't it and it were a few pound in a charity shop <laughs> so i'm like so we go back but we can't remember what charity shop it was and we did a bit of a quite a few it was charity one of shop. the first ones i just don't fancy going back around that can you be bothered? Well, it worked. No, I can't be bothered. I got. I had a good deal with that china, so I've got loads of Wedgwood. Right then. A nice collection of modern Wedgwood, Sarah's Garden, a big job lot. Well, not big, but quite a few pieces. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to brave the eyes of the gaggle of checkout women. <laughs> She's gonna go in. And you know what? I'm, I'm gonna good. go in my. Oh, I'm gonna go in me jammers. She's got pajamas and a bet Lynch coat, and she's gonna go in. She I don't care. I'm going to. I do. But it's I'm, like when you walk in there, spotlights come on you, and there's like a, there's a man on a PA. Does the ladies uh, and gentlemen? This person's this, coming for. This is for Helen, a, and she's wearing her pajamas. She's slept in a van. She's coming for a poo, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> if you'd like to. To give a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to smile and wave at okay. the checkout ladies. Okay, bye. There goes Beth Lynch in her pyjamas and her boots. <laughs> Off she goes.